stop letting society tell you about the best skincare routines, the hottest plastic surgeons, or the cream that will keep your skin from aging. It's time we start asking ourselves, what the fuck is beauty anyway? If we remove all the IG filters, is there more to a beautiful face than just skincare? Well, I'm here to share it with you, and hell yeah there is. My name is Jen Carrasco. I have been an esthetician, as well as a high-level fitness competitor, and an all-around badass for over a decade. And I need you to know there is way more to keeping your mind and body clean than just a cream. Join me each week as I cut the BS out of getting healthy, caring for ourselves, and caring for our skin. I share real tips, real ingredients, and real experience. Now let's get some answers on what the fuck is beauty anyway. Hello, my beauties. Today, we are going to go ahead and address your skincare routine and if it is working for you. So when it comes to your skincare routine and the products you've selected, it's easy to get confused and wonder whether or not they're really working for you. Even more frustrating, you might be wondering if the routine is even making things worse. And I know that I've dealt with that in my clinic a lot of times with people with acne because sometimes the acne has to get worse before it gets better because sometimes you're dealing with a lot of like the purging that's coming out. Another thing too is with hyperpigmentation and peels. When you're doing that, sometimes the pigmentation can get darker before it gets better. So it's definitely a question that I get quite a bit. So I completely understand how perplexed scene it can be, especially when you're using an advanced skincare routine with several products. However, knowing what results to expect and why you might not be seeing exactly what you were hoping for or seeing not crucial results. So I want you to understand what's possible and what isn't. Having realistic expectations is important because hoping for what isn't possible can get your budget and skincare completely out of whack. The truth is, is that realistic expectations plus consistent usage over an astounding skincare routine and time is the only way to have the best skin of your life. So if you're worried about if your skincare routine is working for you or you want a skincare routine that you want to really start implementing, you need to know that change isn't overnight. It's something that is probably, I always tell my clients, it's going to take about a three-month progress. And that's the same when it comes to diet and nutrition or anything like that. You're not going to see something overnight. It's going to be a process. So how do we get results that you want? Really to know what you're getting is the best possible result from a skincare product. The list below and the tables that they tell you on the skincare lines, you really need to do your research and check the scientific basis behind it and the science behind what people see with their skin. It's more of like the trials and the study. A lot of times like scientists do that for oral supplements or anything you're taking, you know, you have trials and tribulations from people. So I want you to ignore extravagated product claims. Product claims are typically either incredibly misleading or outright false. A minor example that always disturbs me in general is a daytime moisturizer that claims to address all the signs of aging. Plus, it contains sunscreen on top of it. If you're not using a sunscreen, pretty much a sunscreen over, I would say, 25 or 30, greater than 365 days of the year, rain or shine, signs of aging, uneven skin tone, lingering marks from bumps, and other concerns will linger on or even get worse. So I want to address that topic. A lot of skincare companies that are out there say, oh, this cream has everything in it. Just know that when you are purchasing a cream to go on your skin, the molecule is too thick to penetrate the tissues of the skin. So therefore, it is misleading. It is false advertisement. And all it is doing is hydrating the tissues of your skin until you wash that serum off. Or not the serum, but the moisturizer. So number two. 
Stop looking for one miracle ingredient or one miracle product. It doesn't work. The fact is there's no single magic ingredient or magical product for skin. Just like our bodies, we need a wide variety of nutritional foods to stay healthy. Our skin also needs a balanced diet of -of state-of-the-art beneficial ingredients supplied through consistent use of superior skincare routine, meaning home care, coming into a, a skincare clinic and getting stuff, plus exercise routine, plus eating healthy. It all falls under one category. Use a carefully selected skincare routine. For some people, a basic skincare routine can work just fine for others. It is not going to be enough or to provide the best results. Depending on your skin type, skin concerns, and preferences. A more advanced skincare routine will be very important for you if you have complex needs. Complex needs of skin, I want to go back, is that it needs to be replenished and it needs to be beneficial ingredients. Ingredients is a must. Go back to one of my first podcasts that I did and it goes over ingredients, what is in your skincare products. I actually probably should redo that podcast again just to get it out there of harmful ingredients you need to stay away from. It is also important to use products in the right order, which I went over my last podcast. So definitely check that out if you need to. It definitely goes over the order and how to use it. So don't skip exfoliation or sunscreen. Nothing can be as impressive for skin as a result of a well-formulated gentle alpha hydroxy or beta hydroxy acid on the skin. For even my cleansers have a papaya and a pineapple in them for exfoliation that's very lightweight to use daily on top of that. Even more important is a dedicated use of a sunscreen, 30 proof or greater sunscreen every single day. This is a fundamental way to keep every aspect of your skin young and beautiful. When used as directed with sunscreen protection measures, this also plays a pivotal role in decreasing skin cancer. I go for more of a mineral-based sunscreen than a chemical-based sunscreen because your skin is the largest organ. Therefore, anything you put on your skin is going to be absorbed in the tissues. So this one I really want to highlight. Don't expect instant results. You didn't suddenly wake up with sun damage and wrinkles, so don't expect to be able to radically diminish them overnight either. There are products that contain dramatic overnight results that you see on the market, especially with alpha hydroxy or beta hydroxy acid exfoliants. But for the most part, it takes time for a product to really make a difference in your skin. Continued use is necessary to maintain the results. So again, consider Consistency is key. For example, products for uneven skin tone or skin lightening with a hydroquinone base product for dark spots can take several weeks before even becoming visible. Avoid products with harsh or skin aggravating ingredients. Gentle is the most pivotal aspect of exceptional skincare. Non irritating skincare products are vital in all. Important, vitally important. If the product you use causes sensitivity, it will leave your skin vulnerable to environmental damages. Routinely causing your skin to be sensitive hinders its ability to renew and restore itself. Avoiding problematic ingredients include strong fragrances is critical. Again, I will do another podcast on ingredients, but if not, you can go back to one of my last podcasts. Also keep in mind that your skin surface doesn't always show negative reactions to problematic ingredients, yet the damage is still taking place beyond where you can see it. You may not see or feel the reaction, but if the product you are using isn't gentle, the damage is slightly occurring, leading to problems down the road. Your personal sensitivity to ingredients. You never really know how exactly your skin will respond to even the best formulated products. So you have to pay attention to how your skin reacts. Tingling is a problem because it is a sign of aggravation, not of a sign that a product is working. So is it me or my products? 
There's so much misinformation in the world of skincare. It can be difficult to know what you can realistically expect. So I really want you to just dive in with skincare and learn, you know, you can go into my last podcast and it goes in a little bit more with like cleansers, toners, balancers, exfoliants, moisturizers. And you can learn a lot from that going forward when you go ahead and you pick your skincare. But if you guys ever want help, please reach out to me. My skincare line is vskincarelineline.com and you can just go online and you can actually book a free consultation with me or my girls in the office and we'll call you and go over your skincare routine, what you're doing and go in a little bit into more depth. But if not, check me out on my webinars. They are coming every Thursday and it's virago.vip and you can register there for the webinar that we'll be holding every Thursday. So anyway, I hope today helped you guys to become a little bit more educational in beauty. So for all my beauty experts out there, I will see you next week and make it a great day. Thanks for turning in this week. I hope you feel more empowered and more inspired to love the skin you're in. As we navigate new society norms and beauty daily, make sure to always ask yourself, what the fuck is beauty to me? And know that's all that really matters. If you love this content today, make sure to subscribe, rate, and review. Follow me and get more info on my guest at virago.studio. Yes, I said it virago.studio and that's the shit see you on the next episode beauties